Hi, homeschool friends. So should I unload the groceries um, or should I sit here in the driveway and tell you what I'm thinking about homeschool math testing? I think I'll take a few minutes and talk about that. I uh, It's the end of the semester for Costco Conversations and um, my friends and I are all thinking about what kind of questions we want on our Blue Book assessments for our challenge students. And so we can't just come up with things, right? We have to really think in depth about everything like homeschool parents do. So here are my thoughts on testing and I'm just going to lay them out here because I think they're quite different from uh, everybody else. <laughs> because uh, I think almost everyone I know, whatever math program they're using, they give tests regularly like every week or every couple weeks. And because the philosophy being my student needs to know how to take a test, which I agree with, and I've also heard because it gives me a day off teaching. But if you're using Robinson methods anyway, then the student is teaching himself, and so that wouldn't work for me. Uh, there's no benefit in getting some time off of teaching math just because I give a test. I, I do probably need to look into the the uh, the test taking, um, and I do plan to do that at some point. As tests come up, you know, like, you know, the, the big ones, right? The SAT, ACT, GRE, blah, blah. Okay, but for regular routine testing on the math, um, there is a movie I saw recently, and I don't want to give it away, so I'm going to be very vague. It was about a sports team and a coach, and so the coach came in at the beginning of the season and said, do you want to win the big final championship at the end? Is that something you all want to go for? And everyone on the team said, yes, we want to do it. So, so she set the course and the start of the season. And it turns out they did win the overall big championship thing at the end. But um, it, so she got to keep her job. <laughs> uh, but during the whole season, her methods were really um, not respected, and everybody questioned her and doubted her, and nobody believed uh, what she was doing. But what she did was, once they set the goal, the goal is to win the thing at the end. So then she made a plan. We have this many training sessions, this many practice sessions. I have this much time with you, and it's not enough. I need, need this much more. Where can I get it at the competitions? So when they would go to the competitions, she didn't use it like, oh, we're going to try and win these. She used it for practice of what she needed them to work on. And so it seemed like she was not trying to win the competitions. It seemed like she was sabotaging their chance to win the competitions. And so everybody really hated her until the end when they actually won. And then she told them her methods, which was don't, don't forget the objective. And uh, so she use basically if you want to equate this to math lessons she used those testing periods of the competitions to just do more practice like to do more work instead of trying to win a competition or to do well on a test okay so that's one way to look at it and another way when I went to college I thought that I had I after I got out of, way out of college I thought I just figured something out I thought it was brand new I thought I never really learned Okay, I did fine in the classes and, and all that, but I didn't really learn the material in this math class until I got out of that one and went to the next one. And then in this class, everything you learned in the class before was step one of the problem that you had to do. So you had to do it a lot. And that's when I really learned this when I was in this class. So I didn't learn Calc 1 until I was in Calc 2. I didn't learn Calc 2 until Calc 3 and so on and so on. So I probably never learned complex variables because there was no class after that. So, um, speaking of complex variables, I lost my book and I looked up my uh, college professor to ask her what edition was it that we used because I want to order a replacement book. And uh, just looking her up and I remembered that uh, she'd written a lot of papers. So I just went back and, and read some of her papers. And in the introduction to one of her papers, it just said, everybody knows that engineering math students don't learn the math you know, as they're being taught. It takes time. They have to go on, they learn it later as they use it and all this stuff. And I thought, oh, that's not new at all. Apparently everybody knows it, or at least everybody in the math 
community knows it. So, so much for me and my revelations. Um, but that said, all that together in my brain, and this is what comes out. If I give my student a test right now on math, I am, I don't really care how you do on a test of what you learned last week or in the past two weeks. If I give you a test, you should do really well on material that you've covered last year and everything before that. You should really have that down pat because you have practiced it every day since. Um, and maybe, you know, I don't know. I, I'm just not worried about it, what they've learned in the recent past. I want to give them long-term exposure, long-term practice, and, you know, then go back and, and test them. But I don't really need to test them on what they learned last year because it's step one of every single problem that they do every day. <laughs> oh, so that um, is how I'm thinking on testing for math right now. And I know there's a lot of things I'm leaving out. You know, like everything, work, you know, they have to know how to take tests. They have to know how to take tests. And, and I haven't always thought that is a really good reason to teach them things because they're going to have to take a test somewhere because I'm like, okay, really? If, <laughs> if we're going to talk about testing, so, and they're going to be tested all the time, well, when? When are they going to be tested? They're going to have a driver's test to get their driver's license. Um, what else? ACT, SAT, GRE, obviously, that'll get them through grad school. Tests if you go to college, tests to get into college. I'm, maybe I'm not getting it. Um, that's probably a topic for a different video. Uh, I definitely intend to set up some kind of prep study for how to take those those big tests. But I don't want to, you know, here in the middle of the season, so to speak, I don't want to chart my course based on, uh, my objective is not to do well on a test. I think maybe I don't take those tests seriously enough. Like, what are you, what are you testing my students on anyway? And, okay, quit raining. I'm going to take the groceries in. Thanks for listening. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video. Bye.